As promised, time to look at the newspapers of today with Marion Henbest here on France 24. Uh, Marion, the U.S. election topping the bill. That's right. And first up in the Chicago Tribune, there is a picture of the two winners of the Iowa contest, the first test for the uh, the candidates uh, this time round. And uh, that's obviously Barack uh, Obama and Mike Huckabee, who are both pictured there. And uh, basically, the paper says that the Democrat candidate Obama won his his victory. It was a historic victory. It was it was really quite a surprise victory. And uh, his message for change really outdid Hillary Clinton. That was the big surprise, who uh, obviously has more experience in, in these kind of fields. Now, the paper puts that down to uh, thanks to young voters and new voters. Apparently, one in five of the voters were actually under 30, and half of those voted for Obama. So uh, that's what the paper is saying that this has all come down to in the end. So a clear victory in Iowa for Obama, but it's not a knockout blow by any means. No, the Kansas City Star is another paper that we were looking at this morning. In fact, uh, New Hampshire is the next caucus, and that's going to be a difficult test for uh, Obama. He's uh, not necessarily going to be doing as well there. Hillary Clinton has been ahead in the polls there and uh, also has looked pretty invincible elsewhere across the board in the other states. So she was never really expected to win in Iowa. And in fact, some actually even said to her it might not even be worth running there. So it's not such a, a knockout blow that, that perhaps it looks. So the New Hampshire primary will weigh, will weigh heavy. Um, what are the papers saying about Mike Huckabee? He won by nine points in, in, in the Republican race. Yes, that's right. The New York Times uh, talks about the, this, this man who's a former, former Baptist preacher and ex-governor, uh, saying he came out of nowhere and stole the show uh, last night. Uh, he wasn't even particularly well known among the Republicans in Iowa. Uh, this has come as a big blow for Mitt Romney, uh, who was up against him. Uh, apparently, Romney outspent Huckabee by six to one in his advertising campaign in Iowa. And he'd even set up his family home there the last few months to really try and push his campaign forward. So uh, a big blow for him. Also because Huckabee had uh, reportedly made so many uh, gaffes in the run-up to this uh, election, negative advertising campaigns, misstatements about Pakistan, and also comments from people saying that he's not got much experience in, in foreign policy. So, uh, uh, yeah, I think it was his Christian faith that, that brought him through in Iowa. That's what a lot are saying. But uh, in New Hampshire, it could be a different story for him as well. Now, Marion, uh, the French president, Nicolas Sarkozy, has made uh, no secret of the fact that he loves the United States. But what does the French press make uh, of uh, this report uh, that's out saying that uh, the prime minister is now getting private consultants to give grades to his cabinet? Yeah, quite quite a change, isn't it? Uh, I'll show you the, the Figaro, which uh, we were looking at this morning, which talks about this. Uh, the, you see the title there. Basically, François Fillon's government is going to be graded on its performance. So there's some 15 ministers are going to be seeing the prime minister over the next few weeks. And uh, these private consultants have come in. They've drawn up a list of 30 categories that the, the ministers will be graded on. Now, just to give you an example of the kind of things we might be talking about here, the education minister, for example, uh, going to be graded on the number of extra hours teachers in his uh, area do uh, per month, presumably, uh, how handicapped pupils are welcomed in schools. The culture minister, for example, is going to be graded on how many people go to cultural sites and how many people go to the museums when they're open for free. So uh, a couple of examples there. But there's been some criticism about this, as you can imagine. The Socialist Party, for example, has called it dangerous. Politics shouldn't be about grading people. And uh, yeah, there's talk among, among the ministers as well, who are kind of, I think, beginning to squabble a little bit over this, who has already got a good relationship with the, with the prime minister and the and the president, uh, is that going to give them a better ground to start with? So we'll see. All right, we'll be waiting for that report card, Marion. That's it for this press review. You're watching France 24. Stay with us.